Hey. Welcome to Music and Devotions with Ron and Rachel. We are pre-recording just a little early today. Ron has a doctor's appointment just for his eyes to get checked out. So um, we're going to record and upload and hopefully be watching along with you. This is, uh, I'm going to light the candle. I hope you can see it as we remember that God is always with us. I'm Ron. Hi there. <clears throat> this is the first song I ever sang in church. Just a close. God of love, as we 
come to sing and play and devote and pray. May your Holy Spirit guide us. May we feel you in our lives. May we see you in all that we do. And may your healing and your blessings of grace and promise, may your comfort be extended to all who need it. We each have lists of people's names whom we love, whom we've lost, those who are sick and in the hospital, those facing this COVID virus that we pray you will end. Oh Lord, we pray for our country, our leadership, our communities, our neighborhoods. Help us pull together and be united. We pray for our church, that the church may live within each of us so that we may be empowered to go out and live Jesus' love into our world. All these things we ask in your name. Amen. We've got one more. <clears throat> this is a, a song of faith for me. Lord, I hear you knocking. Knocking on the door. Long have you been waiting? Seems I've never really heard you before. Kinda let the place go. Ashamed at what you find. But you can make yourself at home if you're sure that you don't. the company keeps and I feel better now that you're here I want to make it very clear Jesus from now on you're always welcome here oh there dark room inside of me light has never shown I try to hide inside them but I guess you've always known one day you'd call me I'd awaken from my sleep you'd take me
today is tax day. <laughs> and so I was uh, taking our taxes to the post office because yes, I always mail it on the day it's due. Uh, but as I was going into the post office, this little old lady was coming out, sweet little lady. And she had her shirt kind of pulled up like this. I was walking out, she had a blouse on, it was kind of covering her mouth and nose. She said, I forgot my mask. And then she said, what a world we're living in. And that struck me that you can really say those words in two different tones. You know, what a world we're living in, like this is a pretty scary place, or wow, what a world we are living in. What a world. And it made me realize how we can choose how we respond to the present challenges in our world. Um, we can be upset or sad, and, and rightly we should be about the injustice, about the pain and the suffering, but we don't have to stay in that place. We can also respond in a hopeful way about what new possibilities might be opened up because we've all been sort of uh, like a fruit basket turnover is what we used to call it. Uh, just things have been upended in so many ways. And that does provide the opportunity for new things to come, which can be scary, but it can be pretty amazing too, because we're living in this dynamic time, in this time when there's this dynamic shift in society, in, in our lives, in the way we do so many things that is happening. And that is unsettling, so that we might be tempted to say, what a world we're living in, in, in a fearful way. But the thing that we do know, that we can say, is that the earth is the Lord's. That no matter what the outcome is, God is still with us. And God is in the midst of this with us. And I was <clears throat> looking for the, um, the psalm that says the earth is the Lord's. It's Psalm 24. And it says, the earth is the Lord's and all that is in it. The world and those who live in it. For he has founded it on the seas and established it on the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure hearts, who do not lift up their souls to what is false, and who do not swear deceitfully, they will receive blessing from the Lord, and vindication from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. But whenever I think of that phrase, the earth is the Lord, the other thing that I think of is the hymn, This Is My Father's World. And um, that hymn is a very uh, a special one. In the second phrase, it ends by saying, the music of the spheres. And it, if you don't know what that means, at one point, uh, people thought all the planets were on these glass spheres that turned and rotated, and as they did that, that they would rub, just like when you take a crystal glass and you can rub your hand around the upper edge and makes a singing noise. They thought that the spheres that the planets were on made this music, um, which I learned about that in my astronomy class in college, which <laughs> I love because it was one of those classes that just made me appreciate God's creation even more. But that's why I love this hymn. And the words of it to me just seem so appropriate to uh, where we are right now in proclaiming our faith in God and our trust and hopefulness in what's to come rather than being stuck in, in the fear and the, the scariness of the present challenges. So I'm going to say a prayer and then we're going to sing it. Gracious God, we thank you that this is your world, that you are here with us in every moment. Might we hold on to that? Might we have hope for what tomorrow will bring, knowing that you are at work in all things. Might you instill us with your grace and mercy that we can be your heart and your hands and bring hope to others as well. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I took astronomy in college. It was Monday, Wednesday, Friday at one o'clock, right after lunch. <laughs> We'd go in that planetarium, you know. <laughs> And we get all comfortable, and he'd turn out the lights, and we'd look at the stars, and then, <laughs> man, you could hear it all over the planetarium. It, it was great. Okay. <laughs> okay. This 
God's peace be with you and know that our love is with you and have a great week and we'll see you Sunday. Hey, and he's preaching Sunday oh, yeah. on tape. So you'll you'll on get what? to see him on tape. I oh, mean, on tape. Yeah, he won't be there live in the sanctuary. It will be on the screens, but um, we planned this for a while and it's just how things have worked out, but he's going to preach for us for the first time since... I don't know, a long time that he gets to preach. I'm an evangelist now, and my contract <laughs> says I can't be in person without an amount of money that can, you know, never mind. Forget that. Forget that. He just can't be around people. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll see you Sunday. Bye. Bye. -bye.